everybody. I've got a cute little doggy journal. Y'all know how I love dogs. I have several of them, and I have one that's pestering me at the moment. Not mentioning any names. Cooper. <laughs> and I just thought this was an adorable picture of a little, I don't know if it's a boy or a girl, playing a banjo, and her doggy. We're going to call it a little girl. Got some sorry silk going on, parts of a doily, some roses, some different fabrics, and another part of a doily, just kind of encircling. The um, paper is is coffee stain, the paper. The fabric is coffee stain, but it's got little tiny, can y'all see? Little tiny paw prints in it. So cute. And it measures six by four, let's just say four and a half. And it has a one and three fourths inch spine. And I used a muslin tie that I sewed with some gray, but look, cute, so cute, but it's soft, you know, it's not like in your face paw prints. I'm going inside. Over here, I used um, a taupe um, fabric for the inside cover, and this is part of a, a uh, placemat. And I put in a little postcard. Look at that coffee dye. Really strange, love it. And then one of these letter things, thingies. I stamped uh, with a script stamp and some uh, paw prints really lightly on the pages. And I used a couple of different um, fabrics that was dog related. This one's got dog bones on it. The little paw prints coming out of the pocket. Two papers. Look at this. <laughs> Isn't it cute? I, I feel like that sometimes. <laughs> That's the stitching coming around. For the images on the line paper, I stitched around the line paper and then stitched around the paper itself, but I used little frames and put uh, little doggy images in it, which I thought was kind of cute. Some ephemera here. <laughs> and I, I'm not, I hope the camera picks it up, but it's the script with the paw prints. They just make me smile. Some matching fabric and laces. Some more ephemera. With a cute little puppy image. This is a lady with her um, pack, I should say. <coughs> Over here's a little paw print on the tab and a little bone. I cut it out of the fabric. It's got some coffee dyed papers. Get in there. Some floral. It's riding a bicycle. Cutie. More stitching here. Got several different colors of stitching. I used a white, a camel, and a chocolate. This folds back. Over here, a piece of coffee dyed paper. And the snippets. French, and just different papers. With the little, that's what the fabric looked like before I coffee stained it. But you know, I like that contrast in the book. There's a cutie patootie. Dogs drinking out of a water bowl. Just look. Piece of ephemera here. Some uh, fabric that says bone and it's got paw prints. And then I cut out a little bone and put it up there. And put these papers in. Y'all, I have to tell you, I went to get some medicine for Sammy Joe yesterday and they have a resident uh, dog at my vet and I'm telling you that's the highlight of my trip up there because it's a long way and uh, so I don't know if it's a Chawini I don't know what it is but it, it, it she is the cutest little dog tiny 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 little thing she's only four years old <coughs> and her name is Lacey and I have to give her hugs every time I go in 
I just just didn't want to leave her. But you know, I know my doctor's not coming off that dog because she's just too cute. Look at the pugs. I like pugs too. I, I don't think there's a dog I don't like. And I love cats too. Don't get me wrong. I'm not just a dog person, but I just don't have any cats. Look, cute, cute. Another cutie. And I thought this was kind of funny. This is from a uh, Reader's Digest plant book, but it said Hound's Tongue. <laughs> I thought that went up. That was appropriate. And this cracks me up. I've got some that are funny in here. But it's got, see the line of dogs? And then the tree. And the dog's peeing on the tree. And it says, another problem caused by deforestation. <laughs> I'm so easily entertained. And this one's cute, too. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. There must be 20 German shepherds, and here's a cat. <laughs> Those are some well-trained German shepherds, obviously. No card here. He's singing. Another little card. It's got some embossing on it and some duck fabric that's been sewn around. And I thought that was cute because I put it on a tag that got music from that hymnal on it, but I thought, you know, they're singing in the music. I thought that was cute. More ephemera. Cute images. Look at that. Isn't that precious? That folds back. Got another paw and bone. With two cards with a little pretty bow. Kind of made out of a curtain, piece of curtain fabric. So I'm just sitting here and the whole dang thing explodes. I'm just as surprised as you are. Can you imagine? Can you just imagine? Oh my word. This is why I have little dogs. I would just die. Another bow here made out of the bone fabric with some lace. I think this is my very favorite. Can you see? Got a kitty cat here. Got a dog with his paw up fixing to swat the cat. And it says he's about to learn a very important lesson. <laughs> you know that cat will tag him so fast. Yep. Don't do it. Don't do it. Piece of newspaper ephemera here. Another pocket with some... Coffee dyed papers and a little extra place for journaling. Yep, don't do it. Sometimes I just watch those kind of videos on YouTube, the, the cat and dog videos. They're so cute. Just sweet. Another pocket over here with dog bones and I put in a, a notepad. Whoop, bing, there it goes. Over here is dog bone pocket. And I put in a little booklet made out of tags, shipping tags. And I just sewed on it, stamped and inked, and put a lace um, spine on it. Okay, if I don't tie this up, I won't remember where I got it. So, I'm just going to do that real quick and make y'all watch me. Really? There we go. Tuck him back in. Another piece of ephemera. And she's having a, a tea party with her dogs and her kitty cat. That's your cutie. A little tuck spot I made with that uh, bone with the bone fabric. Hitching mm -hmm. a ride. Oh, I hope that song doesn't get stuck in my head. I have a problem with songs that get stuck in my head. Some lace here. 
a little bow with some paw prints, more ephemera, and that's sweet. <laughs> He's a cutie. This is this lifts up. What a cutie! That's another one of my favorites. Oh, how did they get them to do that? Because this these pictures were made before um, Photoshop, before computers. You know, so I don't know how they got them to do what they did in these vintage photographs. But they did. Look, she's riding her puppy. I imagine that's a pretty big dog. Over here's another pocket. A little bone up here. A little letter thingy with some washi tape. A little a little guy giving his giving a kitty cat a ride. Joke. That's a sweetie. That's a sweetie. Piece of ephemera. This is a, a tag with a little dachshund playing the tuba. And it's got some papers in here. Different fabrics. And then the back pocket. And I put some bigger papers in here. It's, it's sewn in a top taupe color to kind of go with that and that's part of that placemat and coffee dyed papers and there's the back with the muslin closure and the little paw prints and the spine and the front and as you can tell it's alligator mouth chunky monkey I want to thank y'all so much for being here with me today. And hopefully, I don't know, I may have one more video if I can get the cover done. If not, I will see you with it and a bunch more next Friday. It's been a hectic week, y'all. Bye-bye.